In this video, we'll look at using the video inspection probe to check a connector for cleanliness and store that file that we can then attach to an OTDR trace for our documentation. So to use the video scope function, we hit the scope button on the home screen and making sure our scope is plugged into the top of the tester. If it's not plugged in, we'll get a warning message. So here I have my scope tip and I will take a connector and plug it in here. And we can see right off the bat that this connector is not very clean. To center the connector, I can move it in the ferrule and adjust the focus here. And we can see it doesn't have to be exactly in the center for the automatic function to work. But we can see clearly here that this connector is dirty. So right now our pass fail function is set to off. So there's three different modes. You can have it, um, well there's four different modes actually. You can have it off. You can have it uh, manually fail, auto, uh, manually pass, or then an auto. Now in auto mode, you need to pause the image for it to scan and um, evaluate the connector. So I'll hold it right here, and it needs to be somewhat in the center. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered up because the software will um, attempt to center the image. And then I'll hit the pause button, and it will pause it and try to center it up seeing how well I got it there okay so in this case I was a little too off centered so let's see if we can get this a little more a little more centered that should be good and adjust my focus again and it might actually be so dirty it's having trouble finding the core of the fiber let's see here okay so there it is so it showed a fail for that so what I'm going to do here is just clean this fiber with one of my cleaning pins. And we will unpause the screen. Insert it back in. And that looks much better. Let's adjust the focus. Get it nice and sharp and then pause the image and we still have a little bit of contamination here it was pretty dirty and I wiped it with my finger before I started to intentionally get some oil and grime on it Still failing. There we go. So now it's passed. And you can see there's still a few little specks that it sees on there. So now that it's passed, we can save this result and we choose the job folder that we want to go into. We hit the tick mark, and um, I have here a test called pass. I've already saved one called pass, but we'll just call this um, fiber zero two, for example. And now that's been stored. So we can recall um, older saved images. So if I hit the folder to open here, I can go into this job folder um, folder 16 and we can see here um, fiber 02 and the little circular image means that that's a scope image so I can select that and go to the right to open it and that's the one we just saved and in a future video we'll look at how we can attach these images to a OTDR trace file to generate a complete report thanks for watching